Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from exponential equations. It is cube root of 8 power x plus 3 times 8 power x minus 3 equal to square root of 4 power 3x minus 1. And we will be solving for real solutions only. So let's get started by writing three most powerful algebraic properties. Property number one which I will use here, it is a power b minus c. I can write a power b divided by a power c, which I will apply in RHS. Property number two, a power b whole power c, this must be equal to a power c whole power b, which we can write further a power b times c and third property which i will use here it is difference of two squares a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus b square let's apply and i will begin with rhs first so let me write rhs and it is the square root of 4 power 3x minus 1. So using property 1, I can write this is equal to 4 power 3x divided by 4. Now I can write numerator and denominator separately. 4 power 3x divided by root 4. Now can we write numerator as 4 power 3? whole power x using property number 2 divided by root 4 is 2. Now we know that 4 cube is 64 and which can be written as 8 is square. So let me write numerator as 8 is square whole power x and denominator is 2. Now I can swap the powers using property number 2. So I can write 8 power x whole square. And then we have root divided by 2. Now this root and power 2 will be over. So our RHS is 8 power x divided by. So I will replace RHS by 8 power x over 2. Now let's consider. LHS. LHS I can write 8 power x plus 3 times 8 power x minus 3 with cube root. Now a plus b, a minus b, let's apply difference of two squares formula. So it will become cube root. 8 power x whole square minus 3 whole square as our property number 2 a square minus b square. Now I can write here this is equal to cube root of 8 power x whole square minus 9. This is our LHS. Let's write our equation now which is here. So LHS I can write cube root of 8 power x whole square minus 9 and RHS is this is our RHS 8 power x divided by 2. Now let's consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3 and this side I will write whole power 3. So I can cancel cube with cube root. Now LHS will be 8 power x whole square minus 9 equal to 8 power x whole cube divided by 8. Now let us consider 8 power x equal to y. So condition on y for real solution would be 
y positive. Now I will write our equation in y. y square minus 9 equal to y cube divided by 8. Remember y must be positive for real solution and y is 8 power x. Let's cross multiply. I will write y cube equal to 8 times y square minus 9. Let's expand. y cube will be equal to 8y square minus 72. Take all the term to LHS. y cube minus 8y square plus 72 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. I will use method of factorization. So I can split our middle term. 8x square as minus 6y square minus 2y square and then plus 72 as it is equal to 0. What I did minus 8 can be written as minus 6 minus 2. Now from first two terms y square I can take common y minus 6. From last two terms minus 2 I will take common. So y square minus 36 equal to 0. Again 36 is 6 square. So I can apply difference of 2 squares formula once again. 2 times here I will be writing y plus 6 times y minus 6 equal to 0. Now y minus 6, y minus 6 is common. Let us take y minus 6 out. So it will be in bracket y square minus 2 times y plus 6 equal to 0. Or I can write y minus 6 times y square minus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. Now we have to solve these two brackets. So I will be writing either y minus 6 will be 0 or y square minus 2y minus 12 will be 0. Let me write here y minus 6 equal to 0. So from here I can write y equal to 6. One solution is there. Now second equation was y square minus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. y equal to minus b. So minus of minus 2 plus 2 plus minus under the root b square minus 2 square 4 minus 4 times a is 1 c is minus 12 divided by 2a. a is 1. So 2 only will be in the denominator. 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 48 divided by 2. Further I can write 2 plus minus square root 52 divided by 2. Now 52 is 4 times 13. So can we write 2 plus minus 2 root 13 divided by 2. So we have got two values of y from this equation. It is 1 plus root 13 and second value, second solution 1 minus root 13. Now we have three values of y, y6 and y is equal to 1 plus root 13, 1 minus root 13. Let me write here y equal to 6. 1 plus square root 13, 1 minus square root 13. Now condition on y was y should be always greater than 0. But here if you will notice this is negative. So we will reject this solution. So only accepted solutions y will be 6 or 1 plus root 13.
Now what was y? It was 8 power x. So let me write here. 8 power x is equal to 6. And second equation I will write. 8 power x is equal to 1 plus root 13. Now I will take log both sides. So let me write here. Log 8 power x equal to log 6. Now using log property, log a power b, we can take this b as a multiplier. So b log a. So this x will come out as a multiplier x log 8 equal to log 6. Divide both sides by log 8. So x is equal to log 6 divided by log 8. Now second property of log, log a with base 10 over log b with base 10, same base, then I can write log a with base b. So our answer will be log 6 with base 8. This is our first solution. Now let us consider second equation 8 power x is equal to 1 plus square root 13. 8 power x equal to 1 plus square root 13. Now I will take log once again both sides. So log log. Again I will use that property it will come out as a multiplier x log 8 equal to log 1 plus square root 13. Divide both sides by log 8. So x will be equal to log 1 plus square root 13 divided by log 8. So I can write my answer will be log 1 plus square root 13 with base 8. So we have two real solutions for this exponential equation. Let me write once again x is equal to log 6 with base 8 and log 1 plus root 13 with base 8. This is the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.